Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I'm happy to be uh, here with Anis Ansari mm -hmm. from the uh, uh, AX development team. Thanks for mm -hmm. being with us today. Um, we, we have a great topic to talk about in this video, and that's uh, how AX2012 is working with uh, SharePoint and Enterprise mm -hmm. Portal. Mm -hmm. But before we start, can you, why don't you give a little bit of background about uh, your role in the, uh, on the mm -hmm. AX development team and your role with AX2012? Mm -hmm. So my name is Anis Ansari, as you said. I have been with the AX team for about a year now. I've been at Microsoft for about six years. Uh, this is one of the products that I'm most excited about in my entire uh, career at Microsoft. It's great to see everything coming together and how we're going to help uh, AX2012 ship. Uh, Enterprise Portal, uh, my role on the Enterprise Portal team is a program manager. So I kind of decide uh, with the other team members on what we should do to help customers, help developers, help partners, you know, build things, ERP applications faster and quicker so that they can perform their business uh, much smoother. Excellent. And, you know, and when you touch on the subject of, of portals, a portal a few years ago was something that was, was not thought of as, as something that a, a business user, an end user, would mm -hmm. really have to, to uh, worry about or be involved with. But now portals are mm -hmm. pretty ubiquitous. We, are, mm -hmm. we use portals in, in every facet of, of technology. Mm -hmm. Can you explain how we've worked not just with the SharePoint team, only mm -hmm. with the SharePoint team, but also to kind of incorporate this environment into an ERP environment, which traditionally has kind of been standalone and mm -hmm. kind of off the grid a little bit. You guys have really made it an mm -hmm. integrated part of how people spend their days. Yeah, so Enterprise Portal pulls in a bunch of technologies together. SharePoint is one of it, ASP.NET, both really popular technologies. SharePoint itself provides personalization and collaboration capabilities that we leverage so that you can now customize this application more. Um, Enterprise Portal itself is also very metadata driven, so that makes it very customizable and, and adaptable. So when customers deploy this and use this, they can pretty much change it to the needs of the business and uh, from our perspective, we kind of build on top of these technologies and we add our own uh, layers on top of it. Mm -hmm. So it, all, in all, it makes it really helpful for the customers to be able to, you know, for example, uh, implement sales, procurement modules. We ship some out of the box, but we also give them uh, customization capabilities, hooks where they can plug in and put their own stuff. They can even integrate other technologies into the portal itself. So Enterprise Portal is, a sh is built on a SharePoint site but it really brings together all of your data together and gives you like a front facet for everything together in one, one place. And that's really important as we've gone through the series talking a bit about um, developers who are going to be developing applications or developing in the AX mm -hmm. environment, but also administrators as they think about um, mm -hmm. security and, mm -hmm. and what information in that each, one, each uh, user is going to have access to. So I know you guys have done a lot of work to make sure that, that all of that is very integrated into a single environment. Yes. So from the administrator perspective, we made it really easy to deploy and manage Enterprise Portal. We made some great enhancements where you had to do a lot of manual tasks. We've now automated those or provided better ways to do those things faster. Mm -hmm. uh, from the uh, from the development perspective also, we've done a lot of improvements as well. From the security point, we have uh, now, so if you are in an internet, you don't need authentication, it automatically authenticates you, but we also do provide support for pluggable authentication. So for example, Enterprise Portal not only works for people inside the organization, your employees, but even people outside, like customers, partners, and vendors. And say you want to provide them with authentication capabilities to use or to view your data, mm -hmm. you can use Live ID or other forms of authentication as mm -hmm. well, and it's really easy to incorporate that as well. I think that's a great segue into mm -hmm. kind of the end user part of a portal because mm -hmm. uh, both of us being end users of, of technology, sure. we are, we spend a lot of our day in mm -hmm. portals, whether it's um, doing different tasks or looking at a, a dashboard or looking at different mm -hmm. metrics or email, whatever it mm -hmm. might be. Mm -hmm. Portals are becoming a, a ubiquitous part mm -hmm. of how we um, utilize technology. And, and you guys have done a, a lot of work to, to make that environment mm -hmm. very seamless for the end user to the sure. point of talking to some users that have been involved with the beta, it, at some points they don't even know they're using ERP. It's the yeah. environment is so yeah. transparent back and mm -hmm. forth, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Enterprise Portal, the, the one of the biggest things that we've worked on is an exceptional end user experience. So we try to make the user interface very modern and you know it provides a role-tailored experience to the user. So if you are a CFO, you see data specific to your role. If you are an accounts receivable processor or something, then you are uh, seeing data relevant to your business, your tasks that you do every day. Mm -hmm. And we do that by providing a familiar, flexible, and efficient user interface. And uh, we also uh, uh, you know, provide you with role center pages out of the box, so everything is there for you. You can tweak it, you can customize it. 
and we have uh, done lots of usability studies. We have seen lots of UX patterns that work in the past, and we've kind of leveraged those and applied them consistently throughout the app. So it's very easy for someone to get started using Enterprise Portal. And once they've kind of learned one piece of it, mm -hmm. they can pretty much pick it up and apply it to different areas. So, it, so all in all, it makes it really easy and intuitive to use from the end user perspective, helps improve the efficiency and productivity of employees. That's great. Why don't we take a look at some sure. of the things that you guys have done in the portal then? All right, so here I have a demo for you. So think of me as an employee. Uh, so I am an employee and my organization is using Enterprise Portal. And I went on a customer trip and now I want to file an expense report. So if I was uh, using uh, Enterprise Portal, so let me start on here. So this is the first page I would see. So on here you can clearly see all, all the tasks that I can do. So this is like a self-service portal for employees. And I can file expense reports, I can order products that I want, I can you know, enter my time off and do a whole bunch of things here. Now, I want to enter an expense report, so I can click on this link here, or I can, let me just show you a little bit more of the application. So once I clicked on that expense link, here I see a list of all the expense reports that I filed in the past. You know, I can see their status, whether they're processed or they're waiting on something. When I select one, I can see the details at the bottom, so I can see all the charges that I've entered in the expense report. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say I want to create a new one. You see a ribbon at the top. This is the SharePoint or the Microsoft mm -hmm. Office ribbon layout. It really improves discoverability of these buttons and these actions. So I see a new button here. I can click on that, and you see what it did. The system went in, and it pulled all this data from my credit card, and it automatically put it here for me so that I can pretty much pick and mm -hmm. choose which uh, which charges I want for this expense report. It also assigns categories where possible. So you see there's flight charges, there's car rental charges. Now let's say I want to pick one flight charge and hotel charge. This is the one that I uh, spend on for that trip. I hit continue. This will take me to the next step. And this is something which is really cool is the system does a lot of the heavy lifting for the user. Mm -hmm. So you see usually with hotel charges, there's policies in place where people have to itemize their bills. We have auto itemization, so if your credit card company provides those details to us, if the charge is, uh, you know, we have the relevant details, we have mm -hmm. the ability to access it, we will use it and we will itemize it for you. So you can see here, we've already itemized all these charges for you, you don't have to even do that. Now say you want to enter another charge, you can go in and use these buttons and add some more charges, but for this purpose, to keep this demo short, let's say I'm done here, so I can pretty much hit save and close, and I can go back to the list page, and you'll see that the report shows up here. I can select it, and you can see in the preview pane the charges that I entered. So and it's I'll, pretty much simple. And, and you've been doing this through the portal. Yes, right? all I mean, through the portal. We've been AX, but it's been, yes. again, a pretty yeah. transparent environment where yeah. you're just operating in, in a in a window in which uh, mm -hmm. you as an end user are going to click a hyperlink and probably get to and be able to do your work. Y yes, absolutely. That's what uh, one of the biggest things about Enterprise Portal also is reach. So with, with the web-based portal, you kind of are not limited to the desktop or to anything. So if you have remote users out in the field, they want to access sales orders, purchase orders, they can use Enterprise Portal, log in quickly, open sales orders, you know, view requisitions, quotations, mm -hmm. all those things. So it just gives you instant access to all this business information. Yeah, anything that reduces the amount of steps to get paid from an expense report, I think is gonna, <laughs> is gonna be a big sure. hit with a lot of yeah. people out there. Um, kind of closing up, what is, What's been the feedback as, you, as you've had a chance to work through early adopters of the, of the product and customer mm -hmm. feedback? What, what have they told you about the integration with, with uh, the portal environment in AX 2012? So they're, they're really excited about this. They're really excited about the look and the feel from the end user perspective, how easy it is to use, how everything is you know, consistent throughout the application. If you go from sales to purchase to expenses, everything looks and feels the same. The system helps them do one thing at a time, so it kind of really helps uh, uh, break down complex tasks into simpler ones mm -hmm. so that people can do it faster. Uh, overall, I think they are really excited about the product. They've been asking us for betas and all these releases. Wherever I go and demo these, they're really excited about the product and uh, they've already started playing with this. And I've had multiple talks uh, in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. I've demoed this, people have constantly been asking me to get their hands on this so that they can yeah. get started. Not only end users, but even ISVs, they want to start customizing this. They want to start building their uh, things on top of this. So all in all, it's been great. 
That's great. I know uh, this is a, a part of the AX2012 application that we're going to be adopting throughout mm -hmm. Microsoft too around expense yeah. reporting, expense yeah. management. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to using it too. Yeah, it's, it's already started actually. We, uh, we've already deployed expense uh, management functionality mm -hmm. for a subset of Microsoft employees. Myself and I think uh, part of Australia is already on it. Mm -hmm. And soon we'll be rolling out to the entire Microsoft organization. That's great. And yeah, it's, it's really nice to see people use uh, the things that you build every day. Yeah, exactly. And especially when they're really happy about it. Yeah, right. That you always really helps like that. too. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, Anise, thanks very much for being with us. We're looking forward to the release of the product. Thanks for being right. here. Thank you, Guy.